Well, it's safe to say we could start officially speculating for Halloween Horror Nights because I'm seeing a lot of stuff on the internet and we got to talk about it. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Anthony from the Knights of Horror, and today we are going to be talking about the uh, latest in, in the rumors and speculation of Halloween Horror Nights in 2023 over here in Hollywood. Now, typically how I would do these is I would go based off of HN Nightmare speculation maps, which I know that he recently just released, or they recently just released that team over there, so I'm going to actually steer away from those, and I'm going to kind of go a little old school route with speculation the way that I like speculation the way that I remembered speculation and that's kind of based off of what I want to see at the event some of these things that I want to see I have seen on other speculation maps or other speculation um, you know things on the internet so you know I mean it's a lot of, it's a lot of the times people will have the same mindset as other people's of what they want to see at the event and whatnot so I'm excited to kind of share what mine is and whatnot and and see where it goes from here First and foremost, the, the one I want to throw out there, which is the most obvious one right now, is The Last of Us on HBO. I feel like The Last of Us, both as, both as a video game and as a TV show, has executed perfectly. And I think this would be an amazing time for them to bring it over to Halloween Horror Nights in both Hollywood and Orlando as a shared, um, a shared IP. That'd be a lot of fun, and I, I, I'd love to see what they can do to bring that li that that kind of world to life, the clickers and, and everything. Now, you got to remember, with the show like The Last of Us, it, it focuses a little bit more on the drama more than the horror aspect of things, but the horror aspect is there as, as far as the clickers go. Uh, however, it does focus more on the drama and, the, and the, the horrors of the real-life people of what they turn into within this apocalypse and whatnot. So this is going to be interesting to see how they would pull this off and how they can, uh, if they were to do something like this, how, how, how they can execute it perfectly to translate both really well to the game and the TV show uh, and, and to give you that best experience going out there. Another thing I'm, I'm kind of interested in seeing is is um, another Whores of Blumhouse. Now I know the uh, speculated ones right now are Megan and Insidious. Um, to be honest with you, I wasn't a huge fan of the movie Megan. Um, it, you know, it, it was what it was, but I, it, it didn't really, wasn't, I wouldn't say it was terrible, but it wasn't, for me, it wasn't amazing either. It was just, it, it was what it was. Um, that being said, to translate that into a Horror Nights maze would be very interesting to see how they can accomplish that because it is somewhat of a tricky uh, thing to do, especially with you know the whole doll aspect of things and the whole AI and whatnot. So I'd love to see how they would translate that into a maze. That is something I've been hearing around um, lately. But I feel like um, another thing that they've been teasing around is I know there's a new Insidious movie in the works right now with Patrick Wilson actually directing the film, uh, which I believe this will be the fifth installment or the sixth installment of Insidious. Um, so that could be easily translated into a maze. I know they've done Insidious movies in the past, um, but I feel like a Horrors of Blumhouse would be perfect with this. I know that they're also going to be, they're working on the Five Nights at Freddy's movies right now. So I know that I don't, I don't believe it's going to make it this time, in this time this year, but I would love to see that at a future Horror Nights event as well. Um, those games, when they came out, yeah, I know they got annoying with the memes and everything, but overall, I think it's a good, scary game, especially when you look back at like that first one and stuff. So I'm excited to see what they do, if they do anything of a Horrors of Blumhouse at that. There's a lot of uh, material they could pull out for a Horrors of Blumhouse maze, and I'd love to see what they can kind of accomplish with that. Um, something else in, in the realm of, of music. I mean, the weekend really kind of sparked that plug into doing more music mazes again year round and really brought that spark of me wanting more uh, bands to come to HHN right now. I feel like a good band you can really capitalize on right now, is, and, and, they're, and they're really uh, up there in the metal scene right now, is, is uh, Ghost. Ghost would be a good uh, maze translation from their from their music to to a maze. I think that could be really good. I myself am not the biggest Ghost fan, but I would like to see how they would translate the music of Ghost into a Halloween Horror Nights maze. I think it would go really well with the whole horror aspect and 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 their image and whatnot. So I'd love to see them work together and create something. Speaking of music icons, you can't talk about Halloween Horror Nights without not talking about Slash. Now, we don't know if there's going to be another Universal Monsters installment this year. What And if there is another Universal Monsters installment, what can it be? I know right now they're speculating Dracula versus Phantom of the Opera. 
personally, I really would not want Dracula to return. It's been a we, we've had Dracula a couple times now. I feel like if you were to do a Universal Monsters uh, Phantom of the Opera solo, that it would just work so much better in my opinion because. You know, I, I feel like with the Phantom, the Phantom is such a big character on its own that he can carry himself in his own maze. And if you come up with a new original story that's supposed to be like a spiritual sequel to that Phantom movie, I mean, there's no telling what they can do with it. We haven't seen the Phantom in a Universal Monsters maze until the very first one back in 2018. So it would be cool to see him kind of uh, get revived and, and see what, what's new with him and what storyline they go with the Universal uh, Monsters legacy storyline and everything. Uh, personally, too, if they are going to do a Universal Monsters maze, I would love for them to do Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, I know that the uh, Horror Nights out in Orlando has had Creature in the maze uh, a few times as an Easter egg and as an actual section in the original Universal Monsters maze that they did. Um, so I would love to see them do a storyline with uh, our you know, uh, over here on the, in the Hollywood side of things, their uh, version of the Creature from the Black Lagoon. I feel like it'd be really cool and there'd be a lot of things to do it. And I know every year, year after year, us Universal HHN fans really want a Creature from the Black Lagoon maze. It happens every year. I see, I see it in here on Speculations every year. I'm one of those people and stuff. Um, and to kind of wrap things up with that, uh, I, there is a bit of news going on in the parks right now. The Curious George area has started construction for Halloween Horror Nights 2023. I believe this is pretty early on that we've, I think we got construction started around the same time last year. You know, the difficult part about us, uh, bloggers now going out there to, to get the construction now is everything is pretty much covered. Thank you, John Murray. We appreciate you. But uh, no, I think it's it's a good thing that they covered it. It kind of keeps that secrecy up until uh, Halloween Horror Nights opening night, and I'm super excited. We're going to be heading out to the parks relatively soon. I want to get some footage. I know my pass is, is going to be coming up due. Plus, I want to go check Super Nintendo World out, so that could be a lot of fun. But yeah, guys, if there's any new news related to Halloween Horror Nights or anything, we'll tune back in. Uh, until then, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification where every time we put up a new video, we are almost to 3,000 subscribers. So we would love it if you guys can hit that subscribe button and get us there. We appreciate all your support. Leave some comments down of what your guys' speculated mazes are for Halloween Horror Nights this year. I'm super stoked. I got some more speculations lined up for the future, but only time will tell. So... Without further ado, um, if you guys want to go actually a step further to, to support us, follow us on Instagram and TikTok at The Knights of Horror and uh, Twitter at Knights of Horror. And uh, follow us on Twitch at Knights of Horror Gaming. You can see us game. We're going to be playing some uh, a lot of various games, so come check us out. Have some fun. But with all that being said, I'm your host, Anthony, and I will see you guys next time for another video.